Hey y'all, so today we're going to be making some Cajun shrimp and grits with fried chicken. I got this recipe from Law Cannon on Facebook and YouTube. Shout out to him. This is dope. It's awesome. It's actually my first time making this recipe and I decided to record, so just bear with me. Um, I didn't use the shrimp pills for the sauce, I know, I'm sorry, but I just used what was in my freezer and I added fried chicken. He actually didn't for his recipe, but... So I wasn't able to get this on camera, but the first thing that you do is this. Alright, so next I'm just gonna start with by seasoning my meats, my shrimp, with any Cajun seasoning. That's paprika. Uh, you couldn't see it, but yeah, the Cajun's Choice, Paprika, Cayenne, Old Bay, you name it. Any kind of Cajun seasoning that you have in your pantry will definitely work for this dish. So yeah, after I finish seasoning it, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick toss around so I get all those juices and flavors. Mmm, smells good already. Anyways, next thing I'm going to do is clean my chicken and season it. So I'm just going to clean it with some water. After I clean it with that water, I'm going to go ahead and season it with some garlic salt, black pepper, and seasoning salt. Next thing I'm going to do is get my flour ready. Uh, you want to be able to coat your chicken nice and evenly. So when you drop it in the deep fryer, it fries very beautifully. So I'm coating it, and then I'm going to go ahead and drop it in the deep fryer and let that cook. While that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and prep my onions and bell peppers. Honestly, you can do this first. You can do this last. I don't care. Do it whatever way you want to. This is my first time doing this recipe, and I didn't prep everything beforehand. But you're definitely more than welcome to do so. After I cut my onions and bell peppers, I'm going to cut my sausage. That's the sausage that I used. These are the grits that I use, the Quaker grits. Um, very simple. I'm going to boil some water, six cups, add some salt. While that's boiling, I'm going to go ahead and get my meats on hot. Uh, my bacon first because I'm going to use that bacon grease after I finish cooking my bacon. So we're just going to let that cook. My water's boiling. Once that water's boiled, go ahead and add uh, the amount of grits. You know, read the back of the label first. Uh, I actually did it here, but you couldn't see it, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, uh, check on your chicken. Make sure it's not burnt. After you check on your chicken, you're going to go ahead and check on them grits after you added that in per the back of your grits can. Um, you just want to stir it and keep, 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 keep consistently stirring your grits so you can um, get them to the consistency that you like. Uh, I added cheese and heavy cream. This is like this uh, secret key ingredient for the grits um, yeah I like mine cheesy if you don't like them cheesy or if you don't like to add extra dairy once your grits are done they're done put them to the side but I like to add more dairy more cheese and I'm just stirring it up right now so I can get them nice thick and creamy um, I really like my grits cheesy and creamy I added a little bit more cheese um, again do this to your liking not required but anyways, once you're done stirring those grits and you get them to how you want them, go ahead and toss them to the side because your grits are now done. Uh, my chicken's done, so I just took that out. My bacon's done. I'm going to cut that up. I'm going to go ahead and cook my sausage in one pan. My bacon grease, I added the onions and bell pepper. I added a half a stick of butter. Uh, and my bacon grease and onions and bell pepper. Then I added the heavy cream. And then I added the, sh the shrimp in the other pot so it can cook brown. After it browned, I added it to my pot of onions, bell peppers with the sausage. I added paprika to give it that nice color going. 
this is what it looks like. You just want to keep cooking it to, and you know, stirring it around to the consistency that you want it. Anyways, it's all done now, so now it's time to plate. Woohoo! We're gonna go ahead and get those grits in there. I'm gonna put some of my cheese, my sausage, shrimp, onions, bell pepper, some of that juice. Get a fried chicken, put it in there, you name it. Get me some um, nice green onions, some bacon pieces, and then there you have it. This dish is done. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you try it for yourself. It's very fulfilling. I got full really easily, and it's very good. So hope you guys enjoy. Bye-bye. Thank you.